lights right over there in the grills. We're gonna go back inside and take a look at the other two cars. Wow. All right, guys, while Steve is on his drive around the block in the LP640 Murcielago, Guys, we got some insane cars here. I'm gonna do them really briefly. We're on a tight schedule here. Many thanks to Steve POV for always hooking it up. He invited me to this guy's personal garage, his man cave. So Steve POV is doing two videos. He's doing one of the entire man cave and the upstairs home theater and all the little tidbits and small details that us Americans or Westerners don't really see when it comes to designing a Japanese man cave. And his second video will be, of course, driving the LP640 Murcielago and doing an in-depth tour of these two cars. Got the Honda Civic by Alpine. It was built around 10 to 15 years ago uh, for SEMA. We're gonna open up the door just as such. This is bananas. It's a single seater. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Lamborghini Egoista uh, setup here. We got all the Alpine screens. We got NOS bottles, three of them on the side over here. We got CD players on each side of the car. And of course, the center seat right here. This is actually pretty crazy. I'm not really sure how this works, but if you watch Steve's video, he actually shows you how this mechanism right over here works. This entire cage moves forward and you're in a, you're basically surrounded by more speakers and screens, tachometers, speedometers, and all that fun stuff. And it closes up right over here. Boom. The story goes is that the owner of this man cave decided to buy this car because Alpine, after SEMA, were about to scrap the entire car and just destroy it. So he saved it, is now here in Japan, safe and sound, and it inspired this thing right over here, the Nissan President. Check this out, this interior is Unreal. <laughs> Center scene as well. We got monitors left and right here. And of course, oh yeah, check that out. And you got monitors on the side here as well. So these four doors can electronically be closed and open at a push of a button. And we got the trunk right over here. Bam, oh yeah, that is pretty crazy. So if you guys wanna know more about this car, if you wanna know all about the details of these two cars and of course the LP640 Mercio Lago Drive. Make sure to check out Steve's channel. Dude, this guy is Mr. Japan. He knows anything, everything about every aspect of the car culture, truck culture, just anything automotive. Man, this really is something else. And got the tri screens up front. Oh, look at this. OF Customs for your ultimate customs Obayashi factory. You got endless amounts of switches on the top there, which I have no idea what they do, but I'm sure they are all linked to something. And of course, boom, amps for days, baby. And the one and only, <laughs> I don't think that's an aquarium. It's more of like just, uh, I don't know. It looks nice. Of course, the rear right over here, we got Alpine speakers, and I'm not even sure what these are, but they look pretty sick. This whole water theme here is really, really insane. Steve and I and his whole crew were about to go to check out a Bosazoku car shop and they're gonna help assist me in modifying my car because that car has been sat around for about a week or two. So that being said, let's roll. I want to show you guys exactly how big of a deal Steve over here is in Japan. Currently, we're in a car headed to uh, a shop, right? no works, yes sir. And he pulled out the snack here. Apparently, it's organic cheese. It's like string cheese, right? Like organic string cheese. And who gave it to you? Tell me. A big fan of mine from, uh, from Ibaraki Prefecture who has an organic cheese farm up there, a small farm. And he came all the way down to Tokyo Auto Salon, brought me a bunch of cheese presents that from his handmade oh. stuff from his farm, man. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. So I mean, you we're gonna try some right now, right, Gordon? Yeah, yeah, let's do some let's right now. Let's open this up. We're doing it. Oh, oh right. let's see here. Let's, let's give him a little shout out. Suzuki Dairy Farm, cheese made from healthy milk. Just saying. You're yanking it yeah, all. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's stringy. There. You take that half. I'll, I'll take, take that half. half. There Boom. we go. Cheers. Cheers, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Dude, this that's is pretty, from healthy cheese. Dude, this bro. is pretty good, man. That's, uh, that's dude, fresh. Guys, how come? Wh where's my audience at? Are you kidding me? I don't get like cheese samples. Who's bringing Gordon cheese next? Are you kidding me, guys? Come on. Step it up. So we're uh, currently here at Mizuno Works. And Mizuno Works. We're in Saitama Prefecture. Yes, sir. And these guys were at the auto salon and had a bunch of really cool cars here, Gordon. This was one of the cars. Yes, sir. Fair Lady Z. 
the 240, I believe. You got one, don't you, Steve? What's that? You got one? I got one of these too, man. Oh, yeah. And mine's going to be looking as badass as this thing is pretty soon as well, I can guarantee. Oh, yeah. We'll start working on that when we get back home. Absolutely. But this is a badass car. We're sitting right in front of my booth at the Tokyo Auto Salon, so I was staring at it for three straight days. Awesome. <laughs> awesome car. Yeah. Looks like he's working on another one up here. Gotcha. And but this car was yes. the badass baby that was in the North Hall too. <sighs> this is a Ken Mary. It's called a. It's a four door Ken Mary. So four in Japanese is Yom. So they call this car a Yom Mary. Gotcha. So okay. a four door Ken Mary becomes oh, a Yom Mary. Oh, okay. One of these other abbreviated Japanese type words, right? Okay. So this car, you can see his theme obviously with the green paint is his theme. These huge full works over fenders that they use on these cars. Yep. If you notice, there's a four door, but there ain't no way this door is gonna open. Oh yeah, you gotta climb through the back of the front seat, right? Exactly. Yes, You're sir. not getting open this door. This is this is closed <laughs> it's, shut. It's sealed in, baby. Here is you can see there's this wide, wide four. I'm gonna guess 14 inch on these two. Let's see. Can't really read. It's too dark right now. But I believe these are 14s with the wide, wide tires to stuff into these big work yep. fenders like this. So gotcha. I, I'm gonna tell you real quick, this yes. is one of my favorite personal best cars at all of the Really? Awesome, yeah. This yeah. 1G engine for these Toyotas. Gotcha, and okay. this is what a 1G is. A 1G <laughs> engine <laughs> by, by Yamaha, and he's built an exhaust for this. He's got a, a header. Headers, yeah. Exhaust yep. straight back that'll make it sound just like your tw your. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's a bold claim, sir. Yeah, Let's, uh, he told me it's yeah. gonna sound no different, as good as your Mercedes sounds, my friend. <laughs> Wow, so, okay. Uh, I, in fact, I think we're about to hear it. Okay, I let's do it. gonna start it up for us. Hood extension. Yeah. Yeah, can you Normal hood ends right here, yep. so what they do is they call these the long nose. So basically, you take a regular hood, yep. end up extending it out another, it looks like about, what, almost eight inches, 10 inches maybe? Looks about so. Almost a foot maybe, in here and extending out to, call, to bring it into what's called a long nose. Oh, I see. It's the long nose. Two, see? Only with Steve POV <laughs> with this kind of information. I didn't even notice that. I'm just like, oh wow. That's, that's a... why the hood didn't open eventually. Oh. He had to stick his hand if you notice. Yeah, yeah. He was like, where's his hand going? He had his right, hand right. all the way, yeah, up, all in the way in there. All I'm the way just up like, in there. what the heck's like, going you know, on? What are you doing in my car? <laughs> One single exhaust pipe. <laughs> for headers and a set of exhaust by Mizuno Works. You know where to go, guys. He's gonna hook you up and make your car sound like a goddamn beast. Holy smokes. Yes, sir. And of course, dude, Kamasan's car is just chilling right over here. Very, very clean build. Mm. So the owner of Mizuno Works is hooking it up and he's allowed us to basically take the Toyota Chaser over there with his custom exhaust on a little, uh, little drive around the block, so to speak. But he's also contacted several shops that are willing to work on my Bose Zoka car to get a couple quotes. And uh, yeah, guys, we got a whole laundry list of things that we want to do to that car. Stay tuned. Let's hop in with Steve. Let's roll. I roll in the back here. <laughs> I think I'm not good one. Yes. Oh. Our, our crammed here in the back we, with Steve. We got jacks. We got we got handles. Oh yeah, the whole we've got, crew. We got the whole crew in here. Yes, sir. So I think we're gonna be doing some scraping right here, my man. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> scrape. Oh, well, we are gonna scrape. Dude, he's got the same style handlebars as my Bose's open You know. Dude, scrape nation. Thank you. There we go. Dude, that was pretty intense. Very impressed, man. This yep. is Mizuno Works. That's the okay. name of his company, Mizuno gotcha. Works. Yep. So, what he does in this shop, besides customizing cars and doing stuff like this and building crazy machines like we just got out of and, and, yep, and yep. this car too, but he does this stuff too. Here we go. Look at this. These are the Mizuno Works steering wheels that he builds. Dang. These old school little mini yep. wheels. Retail price are 44,000. Yeah, about $400 for one of these steering wheels. Hand built. Hand built Hand in built. Japan. Yes, sir. True JDM old no, school stuff is, right yeah. here. That's 
This is what was just inside that car we drove. These are his headers for the for the 1G engine right there. Dang. He builds these and sells these. And price-wise, dude, wasn't that bad, right? It was like 1200 bucks for a bucks. steel one. Yeah. And about two grand for a full stainless, stainless one. Stainless steel, yes, sir. That's not bad to get a little two-liter engine to put out that kind of sound. It's very impressive. Really impressive. It's you giving my say, Mercedes right? a run for its money, man. Uh, Are you kidding me? I, I, <laughs> Whoa. No comment, but not too, not too shabby, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just one of these old school shops that you'd only find in Japan, right, Gordon? That, yeah. I mean, only in Japan. Only in Japan. Only in Japan. We should make that a hashtag, honestly. That's... I've been trying to brand that hashtag. Oh, really? So why don't we do it together? Let's do it together. Let's Absolutely. Do it together. Only yeah. in Japan. Jeez. Right there. Only in Saito. And only at Mizuno Works for this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Say. Top quality yeah. stuff, man. And what a nice guy, right? Dude, gave us a ride. Gave us a ride. And he's showing us a shop around. Yep. Oh, and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, oh. wait a minute. Oh. Gave us a ride. Yep. Showed us around the shop. Yeah. Hooking us up with somebody to get your car straight now before exactly. we leave here. Yes, sir. Um, we're doing this the Japanese way. Japanese way. Was there way. anything else? Yeah, and just. And he's taking us to the station to get us back oh, home, too. Oh, that's. Yeah, we're like 20 <laughs> minutes out from the station. We're in the middle of like, not any, like nowhere, but we're, pretty we're, pretty, we're pretty far out. Yeah. Steve, can yes, you explain to me what we just discovered here? There's a Fanta bottle <laughs> yes. in the engine bay. All right, so let me explain to you. So Please these do, radiator yeah. systems in the old days, yes, sir. They start to, the car starts to overheat. This is an overflow hose. Okay. Usually you would just run this overflow hose down the side here and just piss all out over onto the ground. Okay. But now when you're really cool and you're old school and you're in Japan, yep. why do that? when you can run a hose into an old Fanta bottle and just recapture all your antifreeze in the old, in the old Fanta bottle. Oh my what God. Is not, what is cooler than that, dude? That's awesome. That sick. That is really cool, man. And that's La Cucaracha cool. horns. Oh yeah, that's right. La this Cucaracha. <laughs> five horn, five steel, horn system. five horn system. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you yeah. got the six horn system in your okay. car for the Godfather. Yes. And you got a four horn I got system? I four horn and my place just kind of a crazy Japanese. Oh, okay. School, gotcha. Whatever melody. Gotcha. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you, but yeah, yeah. they all sound badass. Yeah, yeah. It's the La, Cuc La Cucaracha version. See, this is what exactly what I'm talking about. Only on Steve's POV channel will you be able to point something like that out, because I would never have even noticed that. That's crazy. It's some, and there's a couple other things in this car, uh -oh. too. If you want to talk, let's get into a couple other things. Let's so do we got it. La Cucaracha horn, yep. right? Yep. There's a five horn steel horn system as yep. opposed to plastic. Gotcha. These are just regular horns up here that he runs so he doesn't have to play La Cucaracha every time he wants to <laughs> blast somebody on yeah, the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. But check this out here. These are old school, really old school Weber carburetors, side draft Webers. That are these are forty. Uh, they're called forties. This is a really old school manifold intake manifold that they have here, that allows all the fuel to come in, kind of share the fuel distribution that goes into the engine through this old school manifold. That you, you really, I've never seen one like that before. Gotcha. It's really cool. Wow. It's old school, and we're gonna go take this thing for a drive with the owner right now. Yes, sir. Let's do it, baby. Dang. The Steve POV hookup once again. All right, guys, it's just getting a little bit crazier. So the owner of this car that was at Tokyo Auto Salon headlining this shop, the owner lives around the block. He heard all the noise and all the commotion. He's going to stop by and potentially give us a ride. So this day is just getting crazier and crazier. Wow. Check out the interior here, guys. Racing seats, lean back style. We're going to hop in real quick. For a little joy ride guys it's been a really long day but the owner of this car is out here he's gonna do a cold startup it's really dark the sun has set oh, yeah classic old school sound, classic baby. listen to that oh this it smells so good <laughs> oh give me some of that gordon gordon take uh, some of that. So gotta take some of this back with me <laughs> tomorrow, America. yeah oh yeah <laughs> there you go get a shark dude huh? So we were basically stranded without a car at Mizunu shop and he decided to take us straight to the train station here in his own work van. My man, hooking it up.